Oh, that's nice. What's this? I love Aku. Or oh, Baku. Oh! Oh! That makes sense! So the love is also a B. Hmm. I see. Okay. Aye. Baku, capital of Azerbaijan. Let me calm down. Let me actually pronounce the name properly. You know, Baku, capital of Azeb Azerbaijan, Paris of the East. I hope I said that right. But then, look, I like how this. I like how this like um. Where is it? Where is it? You guys, this like it's like a claw. It's like a claw thing. I like, I like, I like, I like how they did that. But anyways, hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Franklin Tony back again with another reaction. If you guys are new, do not forget to hit it. Don't no, forget to follow my follow my Instagram above right here at uh, Frank Friends. Also, guys, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned to the end of the video, guys. Let me know. Let me know your favorite place in Baku to go. I mean, this, I mean, I think yeah, Baku capital. Like where your favorite place is. If you've been to Baku, let me know. Let me know your favorite places. And if this is your first time watching this video and you want to know where to go in Baku. Let me know what 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 will be the favorite place for you to go to in Baku here. So yeah, pretty much. So I'm really excited to, to see this. Someone told me to react to this, so I'm really excited to react to this. But yeah, let's see. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Answer some of the questions that I'm gonna ask throughout the whole video. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's run to the video. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what's going on in, in the beautiful city of Baku. Hey guys, salam. Welcome to Cool Vision. Hey guys, yes. where am I? Is this Paris? It looks like it, but it's not. We are in Baku. It's the Baku. capital of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan used to be one of the republics of the ex USSR, but now it's been a sovereign country for over 30 years. What is Baku known for? It's beautiful architecture, it's got a lot of cats, and it's a windy city. Baku is located on the southern shore of the Absheron Peninsula. Oh, so it's, a, it, oh, so it's pronounced Absheron. Oh, Absheron. Okay, 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 okay. And it's on the Caspian Sea. It's the largest city in the Caucasus with a population of 2.3 million people and one of the most okay, ancient cities in the east. The core of the present day Baku is the old town known as Isherisheher, which oh. literally means. Isherisheher. Did I cherish her? I cherish her. Did I cherish her? I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I know I played too much. I know I played too much. The inner city. The old town is very nice, with a maze of narrow alleys, foreign embassies, souvenir shops, and restaurants. Ooh, Chevrolet. The main attraction of the old city is the Maiden Tower, a 12th century monument. It's surrounded by different legends, and it's still unclear what its purpose was. Ooh. Inside, there's a museum, a collection of arms, and a gift shop. And of course, you'll get a great view from the inside. There's a museum, a collection of arms. Why is that sword so long? That's why. Why are they using that sword that long? Why are they killing? And a gift shop. And of course, you'll get a why great view killing? from the roof. Another significant structure is the Sherwin Shocks Palace. See, now you see, guys, now I want to go here. Now I want to go to this place. A 15th century palace of the Sherwin Shock dynasty, one of the longest existing dynasties in the Islamic world. The Sherwin Shahar is basically a city within a city. In 2007, the old city had a population of about 3,000 people. Ooh. It was a popular location for filming many Soviet movies. Population of about 3,000 people. 3, it was a popular location for filming many Soviet movies during the Soviet era. Okay. As you walk around, you'll see a lot of tea houses, carpet merchants, and men playing different games. Wait, are they Russian? Wait, are they Russian? Yeah. Bear in mind that the so prices high? in the inner city are higher, but there are so many nice restaurants here. They look like they look like uh what do you call it? Nash Dolma Azerbaijan's Bulida. They look like meatballs. It's, if most of you don't know what meatballs are, uh this is what meatballs are. Meatballs. So yeah, this is this is what meatball. If you guys some of you that don't know what meatball, this is what they look like. But yeah, they, they I mean they kind of do look like the same thing, but yeah. I think the most Azerbaijani meal you, you can have in Azerbaijan. Many of them are off the beaten path. So you gotta know how to find them. Let me show you one of them. Mugam Club Restaurant. 
live music, great service, and delicious cuisine. Aksha. Ooh. I like it, guys. It's like inside the house. You gotta go inside to access it. Okay. It's classy. I like it. These guys love music. Baku is located 28 meters below sea level. How's that even possible? It's possible because the Caspian Sea is also below sea level. Hmm. Azerbaijan is an oil country. Digging for oil in Baku began in 1846. Okay. Around this time, many businessmen from Europe and the US, including the Noble Brothers and the Rothschilds, Noble came Brothers. here to get rich. But they also brought with them European style and architecture. Thus, the city earned the reputation as the Paris of the East. By the beginning of the 20th century, half the oil sold in international markets was extracted in Baku. Today, petroleum is still the largest industry. There are lots of international oil field service companies like Halliburton. Baku is also a major seaport that is capable of handling 2 million tons of general and dry bulk cargoes per year. Damn. There are many universities Baku. in the city, including the big ones like Baku State University, and Azerbaijan State Economic University, and around 5,000 international students. Tourism is growing, and the city has yeah. hosted a lot of international events. Now, are you guys, you guys know the, you guys know the crazy part though. In like all these tall buildings, it's like it's not just one company that owns it. It's like there's like different different companies that it could be like oil and gas company, this company, this company. There could be like offices in each of these buildings. That's the nice part of it like the Eurovision, the European Games, and a number of Formula One events. Baku City Circuit around the old city has been in the Formula One calendar since its 2016 debut. <sighs> Let's take a look at some of the popular spots in the city. Fountain Square. Fountain Square is a popular place. It's a public square where they have many public festivals, shows, and celebrations. You'll find live music, lots of restaurants, and fountains, of course. It is always crowded in the evening. Bro, I like, bro. McDonald's? And fountains, of course. Bro, McDonald's, bro, McDonald's is everywhere. Like, why is there such a long line for McDonald's? Bro, I stop. Bro, I can't lie. I stopped eating McDonald's like a long time ago. Like a very long. Like I don't know, bro. McDonald's. Like every time I eat McDonald's, I feel like puking. But McDonald's. No, don't get me wrong. The best thing in McDonald's is the fries. That's literally, if I was to eat anything there, the fries and the McFlurry. That's literally it. But we move, we move, we move. It is always crowded in the evening. <laughs> Nizami Street or Targova Street meaning Merchant Street in Russian, is a large pedestrian and shopping street that runs through the city's downtown from west to east. It's home to 19th century buildings, street musicians and various outlets from banks to fashion stores. The city of Baku began reinventing itself as an ultra-modern metropolis starting from the early 2000s. And now the city has a lot of impressive architecture like the Haider Aliyev Cultural Center. Ooh. It's a museum that has a lot of impressive architecture. Like the Haider Aliyev. Oh, that's nice. What's this? I love Aku. Or Baku. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. So the love is also a B. Hmm. I see. Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Cultural Center. It's a museum of modern art designed by Iraqi British architect Zaha Hadid. Inside, you'll find various exhibitions Damn. about the history of Azerbaijan, as well as an automobile exhibition with cars driven by the former president, Haider Aliyev. It's a center of Azerbaijani culture, history, music instruments, and more, noted for its distinctive architecture and flowing, curved style that avoids sharp angles. Okay. Damn. How much, you guys, how much you guys think they spent on this? How much? This museum is actually nice. In front of the museum, there are numerous green lawns where people can kick back, play some sports, and enjoy a great view of the city. Yo, I want to come here now. Another unique structure is... Yo, Baku, 2024, I'm coming. Baku, 2024, I'm coming. 2024, I'm coming. That's going to be on my list, Baku. Baku, France, France, maybe UK. Ukraine, I also want to go to Ukraine. 
I maybe Russia when everything goes down. But yeah, those five. Switzerland too. That's my top five. Azerbaijan, Car. I maybe Greece. Like 2024, I'm traveling. I'm going around Europe. That's my goal. Museum in the shape of a folded carpet. The museum was established in 1967, and it was initially located in the Juma Mosque in the inner city. The collection of the museum includes over 10,000 items of ceramics, metalworks, jewelry, and the largest collection of Azerbaijani carpets of various weaving techniques and materials from different time periods. Ooh, okay. The Crescent Hotel is definitely a structure that's getting a lot of attention. It's part of a skyscraper complex that's been under construction for 12 years. Dennis Mall is a mall that reminds me of Sydney Opera. Hello. How much? Mall. How much money does Baku have? Damn. Mall is a mall that reminds me of Sydney Opera. As you can tell, the city of Baku is pretty hilly. There's a lot of nice real estate and like residential and commercial, Ooh, okay. and there's also some iconic buildings like the flame towers behind me. Those are architectural masterpieces. And of course, the flame towers, some of the most iconic structures of Baku. They represent flames of fire because this region oh shit towers some of the most iconic oh oh structures of baku they represent flames of fire. okay baku are you guys not the crazy thing people who like are close to this thing and you guys know the crazy thing people who are close to this thing will not be able to see it like, you won't be able to see what's dancing, except you go from a far view. Damn! There's actually a lot of places to visit in this world, but people don't know about it. Fire, because this region is known as the Land of Fire. Damn. Facades of the okay. three flame towers function as large display screens with the use of more than 10,000 high-power LED luminaries. But surprisingly, there's not much to do here for tourists, unless you're staying at Fairmont Hotel Tower, because the other two towers are nothing but offices and condominiums. The tallest structure in Azerbaijan is the Baku TV Tower. Its height is 310 meters, and it has a restaurant on top if you want to eat with a good view. Oh wow! Damn. Baku has a lot of incredible architecture from different time periods. Look at the Palace of Happiness, previously known as Muhtarov Palace, That's the 12th happiness. century Romana Tower, built during the Shirvanshah's reign. The City Hall building built in the Baroque style in 1904. Nizami Museum of Azerbaijan Literature, a Hundaf National Library, Azerbaijan State Philharmonic Hall, and Armenian Church built in 1869. It's probably the only standing Armenian monument left in Baku. And of course, Baku has a lot of beautiful mosques, like Hader Mosque, Tazapir Mosque, the mosque, the mosque like made of mud. Okay, okay. Mosque, and the Bibi Haybat Mosque. That's the thing, guys. Everything, everything in Europe is like ancient, like. That's why I like Europe. Like you, you get like, you know, you live when you, you know when you live in the modern society for way too long. You want to take go back to like you know, like to, kind of to like the ancient like century to try to see how everything was. You know, back just like just so you can like understand it and everything. Which is but a yeah. recreation of the 13th century mosque that was destroyed by the Bolsheviks. Mm. Let's visit Tazapir Mosque. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. There's a number of ancient hammams in Baku dating back to the 12th, 14th, and 18th centuries. Saki. Baku Boulevard. Okay. That's my favorite part of the city. It's a pedestrian promenade that was established in 1909, which runs parallel to Baku's seafront. There's an amusement park, yeah, okay. a ferry's wheel, known as the Eye of Baku, a yacht club, musical fountains, and lots of very nice outdoor restaurants. And even a mini Venice with gondolas. How cool is that? Let's go for a ride. The ticket is actually less than $2. Oh wow, less than $2? That's crazy. This is... Hey, this is nice. Baku Boulevard is a great place to go jogging or cycling or walking your dog. I wanted to share my morning jogging routine. So peaceful and quiet. And right there is the sea. 
They did an impressive job on the landscaping, bringing plants from all around the world, like these baobabs that they brought all the way from Argentina. Hey guys, and welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. But in fact, we're still in Baku, and they did a fantastic job decorating the city waterfront promenade by planting a lot of exotic uh, plants like cacti. Yeah. I used nice. to go jogging here a lot, and this thing. Bro, imagine, bro, imagine someone just falls in this. this that would be tough. That would be sad for the person. Would always freak me out. What the hell? Right here on Baku Boulevard, you can also visit the Mugam Center of Azerbaijan. We can learn more about Mugam genre of Azerbaijan music. Bro, go back. By Mugam genre okay, of go. Azerbaijan music. Sorry about that guys, sorry about that, sorry about that. Neftular Avenue, which means the Avenue of Oil Workers, is the central avenue that runs along the waterfront boulevard and has Neftular an abundance avenue. of boutiques and high-end stores. Baku has cool taxi cabs. These predominantly black and purple cabs were introduced in 2011. You only find these cabs in two cities in the world, that is London and Baku. You can ride in style, but they are more expensive. So if you want to save some money, you can actually use Bolt boats. app to get a ride. It's real. Yeah, hey guys, the only in Nigeria you also use boats. In Nigeria, you can also use boats. Really affordable. When it comes to public transportation, Baku has a network of buses and a subway system that was opened in 1967, and now it has three lines and 25 stations. A single ride for metro and buses is just 18 cents. Damn. 18 cents? That's crazy. So all these people really go to all these countries that are like fancy and everything, but when they go there, they make it look like they got money like that, but realistically, like, they're only paying like 18 cents for a bus ride. Bro, I'm coming. How old was this video made? Five months ago? Bro, I'm coming. Europe? I'm coming, guys. Come in, make sure you guys. I need a tour guide also. So, in case you, you're from Baku watching the video, let me know. Damn, okay. I don't get me wrong, it's not just because of, it, of it's cheap, also. Like, it also actually looks nice. Like, that thing, like, said, I love Baku, but like, also a B and those three cloth thing that that cloth thingy that will have like people dancing around it that, and a fire on it. That's, that's There's also it. the Baku funicular, they can take you to the flame towers and the Highland Park where you can get some of the best views of the city. Baku is a large city, and traffic gets congested during rush hours. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> relax now. Parking can be a huge problem also, especially around the old town. Baku has a modern airport that was designed by a Turkish firm. I really enjoyed the famous cocoons, that is wooden pods on the top level. Most common destinations are Turkish cities, Moscow and Dubai. Mm, okay. The official language in the country is Azerbaijani, but I was surprised that Russian is also widely spoken. And the younger yeah, that's generation- what, That's what I'm saying, I thought it was Russian because like, people actually speak Russian here also. Russian speaks good English. We'll see a lot of signs of Russian modern ones and from the Soviet days like this sign a revolutionary figure that used to live here in 1918 what about crime is Baku a safe city before I came here I knew very little and I was under the impression that anything outside of the city center is gonna have a lot of crime and it's gonna be nothing but slums well let's see if it's true let's visit Ew. one of the rundown areas in the city hey so this is the this is the bad side they don't show. This is the bad side they don't show. Hey! Wow, I'm in this hilly part of Baku. And these streets are narrow, it looks like favelas. These are old buildings, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's not dangerous. 
Я снимаю видео. А как тут вообще вот автобусы ходят, что-то как тут передвигаться? Сюда? Да. Вот кон конкретно сюда такси ходит за полтора монат. Mm -hmm. вот. а как фуникулер, да, поднимаешься да. все. Понятно. Вы а... вот в этом районе всегда жили? Да, уже вот с 90 -го года, да. Сколько делают? Найти, найти. 30, 30 пальцев нет. 30. Что с машиной у вас? А, этот некудышный этот мастер попался, мотор. Жизан вот делаю я сам. Перебираете мотор? Да. Обалдеть. Прогуляешься туда по району? Да, прогуляешься. Вот. Спасибо. Там отсюда можно вниз. This area currently is actually highly demanded by developers, so maybe a few years from now it's going to be bought out and replaced by modern condos and hotels. Okay. And in the distance you see flame towers, so they always get a good view. Before coming to Baku, I heard a lot of ridiculous information about that's, this. Now, that's crazy though. Oh, so people are gonna buy it type shit. Oh, okay. Like it's only the facade that is nice, the central part, but then once you get out of the central part, you're gonna end up in slums where you can get like robbed, it's gonna be dirty. Well, I haven't found any slums yet. There's some, you know, some rundown houses but you this find them nice. in every city right and i'm being serious i have not seen any drunk people i have not seen one single fight on the street so according to numbio baku is much safer than istanbul sydney london or berlin police presence is huge and lots of cctv cameras alcohol consumption is low if you go to a local bar don't be surprised to see people sitting at a table drinking tea and playing chess what are the typical residential areas like? There are many nice neighborhoods in the city, like this neighborhood around the zoo. It has a pond and a lot of green areas. This neighborhood is around Tbilisi Avenue, and it's a typical congested neighborhood of high rises. Another popular place to live in the city is around the State Statistics Committee. This is where I ran into an American couple, so let's talk to them. Where do you come from? I come from the United States, St. Louis, Missouri. Yes. Good stuff. And what are you doing in Baku? Uh, I, well, we just got married. <laughs> this is my wife, Didan. Oh. Uh, we met in the United States. That's so cute. Aww. This is their honeymoon. Aww. That's so cute. Like. <sighs> Her, she's from here, so we've been hanging out with her family, just getting to know each other. And yeah, I'm, so, I'm still so new here, so it's really nice just being a tourist in the city, walking around. Yes. You know, I want to learn the language so I can communicate with others. Uh, is there anything a foreigner is like need to know before coming here? Uh, don't don't smile at people you don't know. Yes, there is in the United States. <laughs> what's gonna What's gonna happen? In the United States, we smile at everybody. Uh, yes. But that's apparently true. here, people think that's like very bizarre. And, yeah. Say, why are you smiling at me? Yes. Uh, What's the one food uh, people have to try first? Kutab. Oh, kutab. Kutab. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, kutab. Wait, wait. What? It looks like eggs, though. Is that? Is that? Is it eggs? Oh, yeah. I've tried it. All yes. about kutab. They yes. come in all shapes and sizes. They can be really big yes. or, or really yes. small. So yeah, that's small. that's my favorite food here. Yes. Okay. Yo, you guys from uh, Baku? What is Baku? You guys from Baku? What is kutab? Someone let me know. What is kutab? Well, you guys have a great time. Thanks hey. for answering Thank my question. Yeah, Thank no. you. The city is very patriotic. You'll see national flags flying everywhere. Some inner yards can seem a little dilapidated and chaotic. Sometimes people would extend their balconies in violation of the regulations. At the same time, there are many new nice residential areas being built, like Baku White City, Ooh. which kind of reminds me of Paris. What do you think? How much is a one-bedroom apartment here? It's around $84,000. This project has been designed by Atkins and Forster and Partners. Белый город будет похож на Париж. На Париж уже похоже. Уже похоже на Париж. Ну уже строится здесь вот здесь мол будет, потом дальше там мост будет прямо. Wait, wait. So they're gonna like demolish everything here and then build a bridge over it? Именно будет бульвар белого города вот на той на берегу вот Каспийского моря вот там. Funny thing is it used to be called Baku Black City because this area was predominantly industrial and oil related but now it's these nice low-rise apartment buildings and altogether 50,000 people will be living here. 
This is nice. In Azerbaijan, people love shopping at the local grocery markets. And Baku is no exception. It has a very nice grocery market called Yashil Bazaar, which means green market. Yashil we can buy anything from meat and veggies to spices and paklava. There's also a good choice of desserts like Turkish delight or lacoon with different ingredients. This is saffron and pomegranate. In the vicinity of the city, there are lots of places to visit like mud volcanoes, salt lakes and natural gas fires like Yenar Dug, which literally means a burning mountain. I'm at a place called Yenar Dug and it's a natural gas fire that's been here for who knows how long, but it was only discovered in 1950 by Wait. Shepard. Wait, what? The fire just keeps on burning? The fire just keeps on burning? Like it never goes out? Who accidentally lit it? Atashka of Baku, or Fire Temple of Baku, is a castle-like religious temple that was used as a Hindu, Sikh and Zoroastrian place of worship. Baku was a focal point for traders what from the all hell? across the world during the earliest worship. Baku was a focal point Boy, what the hell boy? Ain't no way boy, what kind of devilish, satanic, demonic, demonic thing is going over here? For traders from all across the world right. during the early modern period. Indian traders built the Teshko of Baku during the 17th and 18th centuries. While Baku is the capital of an oil country, the typical salaries are probably not going to impress you. They range from $300 to $500 a month. Hey. What are the Hey, $300 to $500 a month. That's the average. Damn. Now I see why people come over. Okay, that makes sense. So then people come over from other countries here and it'd be so cheap. Well, I guarantee you the flights all the way to this place will be like a lot of money. Best paying jobs in Baku. They are in the oil and gas sector, government and foreign companies. A taxi driver told me that he makes around 30 bucks a day and around $50 a day in the summertime. What? But you can tell by the average salary and the cars that you see on the streets that there's an obvious income disparity. There are a lot of nice cars on the streets, but the ultimate dream car for Baku seems to be the Mercedes G-Wagon. Bro, I don't like Mercedes G-Wagon. Like, why does everyone want to have, why does everyone want to have a Mercedes G-Wagon? Like, why? Like, why? Like, I don't get it. Maybe I've never been in a G-Wagon before, but I don't understand it. Why does everyone want to be in a, in a, Mercedes G wagon G wagon G wagon G wagon G wagon G wagon. We have done that song by Post Malone. I'm sorry for being cringe, guys. But I, I, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really, really sorry. I've seen a wedding where they rented around 20 white G wagons to impress 20. the crowd. Baku is a large city, but it has a lot of parks where you can get away from the summer heat. One of my favorites is Philharmonic Garden. This park was established in 1830 and this old-fashioned fountain was designed by a French company. Tourism is growing and I met a lot of visitors from India, Pakistan and Russia. Let's see what they have to say. Hey guys, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? Doing good. Where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Well, that's cool. Yeah, are you here on vacation? Yeah, actually I came here for a business but now I'm returning to Pakistan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about Baku? People are very hospitable. They love uh, visitors, especially the Pakistanis. Uh, mm. uh, don't mind, but they don't like uh, Russia that much. <laughs> uh, food is amazing here. A lot of, uh, you can say, uh, places, uh, seashore here. You can go on a cruise. Baku is love, just Baku is love overall, you can. It looks nice. It looks nice so far. I'm adding that to my list. I need to remember that Baku. I to remember. For many countries, Azerbaijan offers a visa-free stay for up to three months. Very convenient. Three months. That's good. Baku is not Chicago, but they call it the Windy City also. You wonder why? Well, let me show you. I nearly had my car blown off the road once. Scary. This car just got turned over. Sometimes too much money can make you do crazy things. When the oil prices were skyrocketing, Baku wanted to get into the race of building the tallest skyscraper in the world, Azerbaijan Tower. 
and also the Hazar Islands, a $100 billion city of 41 artificial islands 25 kilometers south of Baku. The but these plans were put in hold for now. Is this guy drinking tap water? What is my How nasty of you. Baku is impressive, no doubt, but every city is its people first and foremost. So let's talk to some of my friends and see what they have to say about living here. So I've made some friends in Baku and Ihan is one of them. Hello. Hey Ihan. What are some pros and cons of living in Baku? Probably one of the cons is the weather, but for me it's a pro because I love the weather we have here. It's cold and windy. Uh, also I can... Oh, oh, so you, oh, you love cold. <laughs> I don't think this guy this guy knows what cold is. Come to Canada and you're gonna understand what cold is. Especially in my city. Especially in my city. <sighs> you're gonna be begging to go back to go back to Baku every day. I can say that people here uh, it's like it goes for pros for people who come here because there's a word uh We like guests to meet new people from different countries. But uh, honestly, for me, as a, I live in Baku, I don't see that much towards myself. We don't have too much entertainment. We have like main places as malls um, and parks. And every, it's like small amount of them, around 5, 10, and everyone knows them. And you will go there and see same people because no other places to go. But we have a use that tries to go for, like now it's season, it, summer comes and they will uh, they're doing festivals. It's like literally gathering people from the city and going to countryside, for example, Guba, Shamaha. How widespread is Russian and English in the city? When I was studying in university, my bachelor degree, I got it in English. Like it's French Azerbaijan University, and they uh, they told us uh, in English everything besides French language. It was in French. Uh, but now, for example, I study in uh, Baku Engineering University. And they pretend to teach in uh, English, but most of lessons are in Azerbaijani because our teachers are not that good. That goes for cons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Now let me ask you about your favorite places in the city. Um, I used to have a lot of them, like bars, pubs, uh, rock okay. concerts, and I like them. But now the only safe place I have is this place. It's called Salam Cinema. Okay. Salam it Cinema. They have workshops here, places to do art. Remember me there guys, Salam Cinema. He's promoting his business guys. Help him out, help him out, help him out. And it's absolutely free, you just come and do stuff here. Okay, huh? take me to your co-working place. The whole place is a big co-working place, but every room is a little co-working place for wow. a small group of people. Oh, damn, this building is about to collapse. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's your poem, okay. What is it about? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I love these kind of people. Like, they just live, they just literally enjoy their life, paint, and then. <sighs> these guys are like. I, lo I love these type of people, man. They're just, they're just living. How freedom is a woman, or not a woman, you can describe it as the way you want. I'll teach you, man. This building was about to be demolished. It actually, officially, doesn't exist. They have street pianos throughout the whole building. Wow. And whoever wants comes and plays. We have one guy who comes and always. You know how to play? Does. No, I don't. He does. Like this. Right now, I'm doing poetry evenings because culture in Baku for youth and oh, it's in really bad uh, situation. And as a hero, <laughs> I came and declared myself poet and started doing uh, these e events. We we started like in December and we already gather around 80 people for one event. That's like really good for us. Do you see yourself living in Baku for the rest of your life, or do you have other plans? I plan to leave this country, sadly, 
I um, I'm really disappointed in people here like uh, uh. The uh, people who are the same age with me who for two years I'm it's like literally the, the whole process of disappointment uh, I've got from people and also I have a uh, obligatory military service that's okay. why I plan to leave this country <laughs> Oh, yeah, and oh, oh, so which means if something happens, he's gonna get recruited to serve in the military? Until I... I don't understand, what does it mean by he gets disappointed by people in this country? What, like, I wanna know guys, someone let me know. Can return. <laughs> Probably 36, that's when you're, you're not a... Uh... Hello! Hello. What's your name? My name is Zaur. Uh, Zaur. Are you a student? Yes, I am a student. And, and what are you studying? I said it in economics economics and yes, when you graduate what what do you want to be uh, I want actually I want to be a videographer <laughs> <laughs> studying economics to be a videographer yes, yes what do you like about living in Baku uh, I like uh, to discover new places and uh, I shoot vibe videos for them oh that's cool that's yes. cool okay thanks for watching this video thanks shoot vibe videos for them Oh, that's cool. It is, and uh, uh, I like uh, to discover new places and uh, I shoot vibe videos for them. Oh, that's cool. I that's nice cool. Okay, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about Baku in the comment section. I'll see you in my next one. I actually enjoyed you guys. I actually enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think, actually. Let me know. If you're from Baku watching this, let me know what you think. Let me know, let me, let me, let me know, let me know, like, what, what, if you're from Baku, let me know, let me know the pros and cons of living in Baku, but it looks like a nice place to visit, I like it, I like, I like the whole place, it looks nice though, the people, I feel like that's all, this could also be, I feel like this place is slept on, no, not much people know about this place, but, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me, I've never heard of it, but, I like, I like the type of reaction videos, I, I really like, like to like, know about all these kind of places, but, Pretty much. Let me let me let me know if you guys will visit this place. Wherever you guys are from, let me know if you guys will visit this place ever, or if you guys will be down to visit. It. Or let me know what you guys liked about it or didn't like about it. But anyways, this is your boy Franklin Tony again with another reaction video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys also like that video, share, subscribe, turn on that post notification. Let's get to three thousand subscribers before the end of the year. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.